After a century of rapid growth, the San Francisco Bay Area is at a crossroads. Today we find ourselves facing a choice that will define the future of our region and shape the way residents live, work, and travel for years to come. More than a million new residents are projected to arrive in the Bay Area during the next two decades. The simple question is this, do we keep growing out, expanding further away from our region's centers onto farmland and hillsides? Or do we reinvest in our cities and older suburbs, making more efficient use of our land? Frankly, I think our biggest issue over the next 10 years will be growth. And it's up to us to decide whether it's going to be smart growth or, in fact, stupid growth. And, and stupid growth to me is not planning for the type of housing that we need for the residents we have today. For San Leandro, the answer is clear. The city has joined a growing number of communities in the Bay Area advocating for smart growth. The basic idea behind smart growth is to focus development on sites that are already served by transportation and infrastructure before growing out. And members of the community, I think, came together to, to say, where do we want to be in about 10 years, 15 years, and how do we get there? We represent, in the city of San Leandro, the best of all possible worlds. We are clearly in the center of one of the greatest metropolitan areas, in my opinion, in the world. The interest in smart growth comes at an opportune time for San Leandro. In 1999, the city embarked on an update of its general plan. For more than two years, the General Plan Advisory Committee engaged in a dialogue about San Leandro's future, inviting all members of the community to join in. With the general plan, it provides an overall roadmap, if you will, of the general direction for land use planning. And our Development Services Department relies on that document. And ultimately, it becomes the source for the various uh, zoning changes and uh, land use uh, decisions that are made by the City Council. The uh, general plan, uh, in my opinion, is a blueprint for the city for a 10-year period of time in which we plan as policymakers to develop uh, those things that make us a more livable city. The um, people who are involved in the general plan are the residents who live here, and we've been very fortunate in having a wide variety of people who work on the general plan, who are still working on the general plan, to help us decide what our future is going to look like. What does smart growth mean for San Leandro? At first glance, the city appears to be almost fully developed, with very few opportunities for any growth, smart or otherwise. But take a closer look. San Leandro experienced unprecedented changes during the 1990s and will continue to evolve during the years ahead. Uh, there's a lot of challenges facing the city. You know, we're kind of a infill city. You know, we're, our borders are well defined and there's not much room for expansion outward. So we had to look inward to find out how we can uh, keep the city up to date with the modern times and uh, meet the needs of our diverse community. The new general plan projects that almost 1,500 new housing units and 9,000 new jobs will be added during the next 15 years. Where will these homes and jobs go? Let's start downtown. 60 years ago, downtown San Leandro was the hub of the city. It was a buzz with the sounds of small town life and full of interesting shops and buildings. Redevelopment projects changed the look and feel of downtown during the 1960s and 70s. Today we find ourselves going back to the future, restoring some of the qualities that have been lost. In 10 years or so, downtown San Leandro will once again be a community showcase. New projects combining shops, offices and entertainment venues will once again make downtown the place to be in the city. Just three blocks to the west is the San Leandro BART station. When BART first came to this area in the late 1960s, many of the original structures were cleared. 
Today, with more than 20 acres of vacant land within a 10-minute walk of the station, the area is ripe for change. The general plan envisions a transit village of new offices, retail space, higher density housing, open space, and plazas. Even the BART station itself will be redesigned, with a multi-level parking structure added and new bus boarding and drop-off areas developed. San Leandro is one of the oldest communities in the East Bay, and it continues to reinvent itself every few years. It's in a process of doing that at this time. We're in a renaissance here in San Leandro right now. We're having a major building projects in our schools. We're having renovation of our streets. We're inviting industries into our town. We're even building new homes. As a consequence, I feel that the vitality of our community is one that we can be proud of and we will continue to help shape in the future. And I think those people that come to our town to see that. Another exciting vision has been crafted for East 14th Street. Instead of strip malls, the street could be home to mixed-use projects which combine ground floor stores and upper story homes and offices. The general plan envisions East 14th as a landscaped boulevard lined with handsome two and three story buildings. Every half mile or so, there might be a cluster of activities, perhaps a medical center around San Leandro Hospital or a cultural district around the Bal Theater. The committee's vision preserves the things that are best about San Leandro, its neighborhoods, its parks, its natural resources, and its community spirit, while accommodating growth in the city's older business districts, around its transit stations, and along its major thoroughfares. Well, I think part of the general plan, the neighborhood element, really touched on that. It's very important that a city not only look at the big picture and service the needs of the community as a whole, but really break down into smaller neighborhood segments. Um, that's where people live. Uh, you want to be able from your neighborhood to have access. It's a very diverse city and it's got a great uh, high school program with, with a lot of great sports teams. Um, I like the friends and fishing. I'm new. I'm, uh, I just went to an apartment here, but it's a very nice place. It's really nice out here. People are very respectful and stuff. Well, we like to have parks for our kid to play in, and a little waterfront like this is very nice on a day like this. It's a pretty place. Uh, the diversity, everybody coming together when we need to. Um, it's a fun, great place to work and to I just think it's in the center of everything. You can go any place from here. The General Plan's transportation policies also demonstrate a commitment to smart growth. The plan emphasizes alternatives to the auto, such as bicycles, walking, and public transportation. By encouraging development around BART and along the bus lines, it envisions a development pattern where owning a car is an option instead of a necessity. The general plan update provided a chance to see how smart growth ideas might be applied locally and to test the community's support for the kinds of changes that would result from a smart growth plan. And one of the things the general plan advisory committee can do is help to give information to the city council so that they can make better decisions. In that regard, I feel that the general plan advisory committee has been highly successful and I'm pleased that I was a part of that. I don't think you could put a, take a pin and put it on the map and pick a better location than San Leandro. Uh, we're kind of at the hub of some major freeways, some major bridges to get across the bay. Uh, we're next to one of the uh, good airports in the uh, United States that has accessibility and lots of service. Uh, we have the cultural uh, convenience of having several colleges located around us. And uh, we have a very diverse population that have a, a great interest in seeing that San Leandro is as good a place as it can be. Um, business and industry is the lifeblood of quality of life. You must have good quality businesses to produce good revenues, 
which in turn come back to the city for police, fire, recreational programs, um, everything that contributes to quality of life. We're using the general plan and the information that's being developed already as uh, we look to our capital improvement program. What are the things that we're going to have to uh, reinvest in the city to be sure that we meet the needs of the community into the future? I think one of the major benefits of the current general plan process and the general plan advisory committee that's working on it, it's um, provided a wide range of issues for us to discuss and uh, more importantly it has brought to the table a new group of people who have not been involved in the processes in San Leandro before. With continuing commitment by all stakeholders, San Leandro is ready for the future. Our location at the center of one of the world's great metropolitan areas has shaped our history and will shape our destiny as a great place to be during the coming years. We're growing smart. We're going strong.